probably heard about the Lucky Blocks mod at least a few times. But have you ever heard about the Lucky Blocks plugin? It can do the same thing, but no mods required at all. So today we're gonna check out Lucky Block NTD, a Minecraft plugin that adds Lucky Blocks to your Minecraft server. Now the epic thing is they're customizable as well. In total, there's 16 or 18 different types of Lucky Blocks, depending on if you got the free or premium version, and every single type does something else. It's actually really cool. So before we start, do make sure to leave a like, also press that subscribe button, click on the notification bell. We're trying to hit the 30k subscribers now, which will be the next big milestone. So do smash that subscribe button, it would help out a lot. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So before we're gonna test out these awesome Lucky Blocks, I wanna tell you that this video is sponsored by Alienhost. My own Minecraft server, Suracraft, is currently being hosted on their servers and the performance has been absolutely amazing. Through the plan builder on their website, you can customize your Minecraft server to precisely fit your needs. That way you will only pay for the resources you actually use and need. Now it doesn't matter if you want to run a big public server or just a small server with a couple of friends, Alienhost got you covered. Covered. From their dedicated plans with high-end CPUs to their essential plans that start at only $2 per gigabyte, you can find it all at Alienhost. And to make it even better, you can get a discount. By using code CASASERA10 at checkout, you can get a 10% off your order, no matter what type of plan you decide to go for. So do make sure to check out Alienhost through the link in the description and use code CASASERA10 at checkout. Thanks for listening. Now let's go ahead and check out LuckyBlock NTD. I'm gonna type slash lucky block GUI get. This will open an amazing looking GUI. And over here, we can give ourselves some lucky blocks. So there's a lucky block for pretty much every single color. And all colors do something else. Now, by typing slash lucky block list, you can see all the different types of lucky blocks and also how many entries it has. So the black one, for example, when you break it, there are three different things that can happen. Though for the sign one, there are 48 different things that can happen. Now, all of these lucky blocks got recipes as well i will show that in a second so you can actually craft them in survival so let's go back to the lucky block gui and now let's go and give ourselves a, let's do i want a black one then i want a total of five perfect and then i'm just gonna click here confirm and there we go we now got five black lucky blocks now i also want to get the sign one because it has the most entries by far so let's go and add a few more now we're at eight now we're at nine 10. Beautiful. Confirm. And there we go. So I'm simply going to place a sign one. This is what Lucky Blocks look like. I think they look very, very beautiful. Their design is great. And what's even better is that you don't need any resource pack or whatsoever to be able to see them. So they will just work straight out of the box. Now let's break a sign one. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to break it. And okay, I'm getting myself four lime Lucky Blocks as well as a minecart with TNT in it. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's place the lime one. Let's see what that brings us. Oh my god. Oh, that that that's like a bomb. That's dangerous. Oh yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Now, the way you want to craft these lucky blocks is really easy. The only thing you will need is gold. And the color dye, this represents the color lucky block you want. So we're simply gonna place gold ingots all the way around the edges. And then in the middle, we can, for example, place a red dye. And bam, we got a red lucky block. If we don't want a red one, but let's say, for example, a blue one, then bam, blue dye in the middle. And there we go. Now, let's say we've already crafted a blue lucky block. But now we want a green one. But we don't have any gold anymore it's all gone what now if you just place a single green die next to a lucky block you can actually change its color there we go our green lucky block it's beautiful okay let's try a lime one again let's break it now we got red lucky blocks and a few birch saplings now let me try the red lucky block so i'm gonna place it i'm gonna break it aha uh -huh. a minecart with tnt once again and now i got green lucky blocks interesting so we're actually getting a lot of lucky blocks from other lucky blocks oh no i place two well let's see how that goes then let's break this one first hmm What's this? Uh, it's a sharpness five wooden sword. Not very great. We also got a diamond chest plate. The durability is a bit low though. Let's see what else I can get. Let's break it. Ooh, okay. So we got iron boots, a bow, and an iron chest plate. So it kind of looks like the green lucky block is the armor lucky block. It's giving me all sorts of gear. 
Is that actually the case? Okay. Yeah, that... Oh, that can also happen. Lucky blocks are not always that lucky. Now, there is a reason I did not break the black one yet. And that's because the black one spawns structures. So when we break it, it spawns us in some kind of arena with four lucky blocks. Well, don't mind if I do. What does it give? Ooh, okay. Diamond swords, bread, lava buckets. Now, let's break this one. Even more cool armor. 12 iron chest plates. Interesting. Ooh, even more good gear. It's all quite positive stuff. We got TNT. We got flint and steel. We got locks. Iron armor. Overall, pretty fine stuff. Now, I know that the black lucky block can actually spawn another structure. So let's see if we can get it. That's that thing again. It should be able. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> so yeah, if you're in survival, this is horrible. You will probably die because of this. It's, it's great. Okay, blue. Let's try blue. Let's see what it does. Horse armor. Interesting. Next one. Bees. And some crimson planks. Interesting. Oh, oh no. Guys, help. I'm stuck. Yeah, if you're in survival, this will actually damage you. <laughs> this is actually an amazing lucky block. I love this. Okay, let's try a few more blue ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spawning a lot of mobs now. Oh, what? Oh, they're just... Okay. That looked so weird. They're just two horses. They're two horses. Oh, it spawns a blaze in the creepers as well. Okay, what's inside of the chest? Nothing. So it seems like the blue one is just negative things all around. Okay, yeah. All right. There we go. We got a netherite boots. So it's either very lucky oh, or very unlucky. Teleported me up in the air and gave me a water bucket. <laughs> That's actually horrible. So <laughs> I think you get the idea. They're lucky blocks. You break them and something completely random will happen. Or well, random, not really random. If a lucky block has 50 entries, for example, then upon breaking it, one of those 50 things will happen. Now what's cool about the lucky block plugin is that you can actually customize it a bit yourself. So inside of your Minecraft server folder, we're going to plugins. After that, we're going to look for NTD lucky block. Now we do have a config file, though there's not a lot you can actually change in there. So let's just go straight ahead to lucky blocks. And after that, we can choose whatever color we want. So let's go and choose the sign one, as it has the most entries by far. So all the way at the top, you can change the name of the lucky block, if that's something you want to do. You can also change the economy price. So if you have Vault on your server installed as well, then you can let players pay to be able to get a lucky block. Now this determines what price they will have to pay. Now you can also choose if you want animations on or off. You can choose what type of animation you wanted to show. You can choose if you want it to be craftable, yes or no. And then over here, you got all the different drops. Now, this is something you can actually customize. So the formatting looks like this. Drop zero is an item. The item is birch sapling and it will drop 16 birch saplings. Then here, drop number one is an entity and the entity is a pufferfish and it will drop four. So if we get drop one, we will get four pufferfish. Now, when we look at drop five, for example, you can see what a drop with multiple lines looks like. So over here, we got an item. The item is a sheep spawn egg and we will get 43 of them. But we will also get two purple lucky blocks and it will also spawn four wardens. <laughs> So, don't know if you want to call that good or bad luck. I mean, spawn eggs are great, but wardens are strong and dangerous. <laughs> now, you can edit stuff here. So, if you don't want to spawn a sheep spawn egg, but for example, a cow spawn egg, then that is something you can do. If you don't want it to spawn a warden, but for example, a wither, then you can do that. <laughs> you will probably die, but it's possible. Now, I will leave a link to this website in the description of this video, but over here you can see all the lucky drop types. So, a command drop. When a player breaks the lucky block, it will execute a command. Then a console drop. When the player breaks the lucky block, they can, for example, be set to game mode creative, like the example showing here. Even though they don't have the permission to set themselves to game mode creative, upon breaking a lucky block, it might still happen. Then we got entity drop. So this is one of the examples we just saw inside the config. It can spawn an entity. For example, a guest. Then item drop. When you break the lucky block, it might drop an item. And you can specify exactly what you want that item to be. Then a Custom item drop. Drop a custom item from the Lucky Block plugin. So the Lucky Block plugin itself adds some custom items. Though you might be using another custom item plugin, there's a big chance it is compatible with Lucky Block NTD and you might be able to let your custom items be dropped by a Lucky Block. Then you also got a Lucky item drop. So upon breaking a Lucky Block, you might receive another one. Then we also got drop message, schematic drop, which is actually pretty cool. If you use world edit, for example, to make a schematic out of, let's say, a house, 
house. Then upon breaking the lucky block, that house may spawn. I would say that's pretty cool. Then we got some special events. So over here, we got big special. It might be like a Sasaro, what does that mean? Well, did you remember when I spawned on a huge pile of pigs? Well, that was the big special event. And when I was teleported high up in the sky with a water bucket, that was the water bucket special event. And like this, you got some more. So we also got the lightning special, diamond column special, experience explosion special, TNT explosion special, TNT column special, and the witch attack special. So those are some very cool special events you can add to your lucky blocks. And then guys, that's gonna be it for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and also press that subscribe button, click on the notification bell. We're trying to go for the next big milestone now, the 30k subscribers, and every single click on that subscribe button would get us closer and closer to hitting that amazing goal also don't forget to check out alien host link will be down below and then i wish you an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye